Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to continue our quest to see if any of these old plastic, disposable, promotional butane lighters are still functional. Now I just realized that that one you can see straight into the tank and I can't tell whether I should be able to see whether there is any fluid in that or not but I certainly don't see any movement. So I'd already decided not to open this one at least just yet because it appears as though the flint may have failed and that's what's clouded up the blister pack it is a different image than the other de jeep lighter that we had opened a few weeks ago we also have Another Marlboro that it looks like you can probably see into the bottom of that one too. And of course I don't see any movement in there either. But I don't know that I could. Seems like maybe I ought to be able to see a bubble. Ah, there is fluid in that one. Looks like this is going to be our target for today seems anyway that if it's got fluid in it it is a flint sparked lighter so we'd probably have a better chance if it was piezo because a piezo that has never been used i don't think really has any chance of failing where a flint that hasn't been used a flint sparked lighter that hasn't been used could fail easily and I think that's probably what happened here but we have no evidence of flint dust on the inside of this one so we're gonna go ahead and peel this open and just see if we can use this lighter Well, this is a very colorful lighter. The horse portrayed in several tones. The denim shirt of the cowboy. The lasso, cowboy hat. The dirt pile that he's running through. Along with the red and black with the white background of the Marlboro branding. And that is how it is marked on each side of the windscreen Marlboro the metal has sort of a satin feel to it it also feels like this is two separate pieces of plastic with the different colors. So I don't know how the lighter is constructed, but it does feel as though it's not one solid piece of plastic. Squared off, but similar looking to a big type lighter. And I can't make out 
what is printed on the bottom. But you can see through to see fuel. I guess we'll find out how much fuel and whether or not is enough for it to ignite. The way this type of lighter works, when this is depressed, then the valve will be open to release fuel, which along with the spark being present will ignite it. Spark is actually going to be against the darker portion. For some reason, people like to call this type of a wheel a triple wheel. I don't think that's a true designation because it's not a triple file wheel. There may be three wheels, but only one of them is designed to cause friction off the end of a flint. There is an adjustment valve or adjustment lever that works the valve. I don't hear anything coming out just as the lighter is resting. So we'll go ahead and give it a go. It's turned all the way up. Sparks. But no flame. I can't hear any fuel releasing when I push the button. So I think this one's another dud. Even though we can see fuel in there, it's not enough. There's not enough pressure or the seals have failed, whatever the culprit is, though it sparks just fine, it's not making any attempt to ignite. Until next time.